by Ernest Vicant, born Emperor of Seas. Ministers be like Malta Tamedo falling for foreign versities. I am Manish Anand. The Raisina Hills brings to you the daily analysis of India's top English newspapers. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will undeniably leave a fine and firm imprint on the modernization of the Indian Defence Forces. And INS Vikrant sailing in the waters with advanced fighter jets on board would surely be a presence guaranteeing peace in the Indian Ocean. Besides INS Vikrant, the Modi government may finally be laying the roadmap for phasing out the flying coffins, MiG 21 series of fighter planes as Tejas Mark 1 would replace them, while Tejas Mark 2 will take guard for Jaguars, Mirage 2000s and MiG-29. The Times of India in its edit has heaped praise on the Modi government for Aat Nirbharta in defence sector. The growing negative list of defence goods to be exclusively manufactured within the country where the domestic competence is well displayed as 75% of the components used in INS Vikrant have been made in India. The Delhi packs the armed forces to spend $130 billion in the next five years and that should be an assured market for the Indian manufacturers and also the startups to tell that the failure of the Kaveri engine project would not be a deterrence. Ministers be like Malta Tamido. Life of one person is highly important, and this sense of duty must make the mental moral built up of politicians in positions of responsibility. Portugal's health minister Malta Tamido quit after an Indian pregnant woman died of cardiac arrest as she was being transferred from hospital, one hospital to another, following unavailability, uh, unavailability of beds. Tamido is a rare politician who shows that morality in public life is still alive. You, the listeners, are free to search for similar examples in their countries, including India. Portugal is battling doctors shortage, and that makes patients to travel long distances. Tamido had been facing criticism on weekend off-day policy, noted the Indian Express in its editorial. The COVID-19 pandemic has woken up the world to, the, to face the harsh reality that the doctor-patient ratio, which is horrendous in India, is equally worse even in advanced countries. Falling for foreign universities, people do suffer from inferiority complex, but institutions too can be afflicted with such malaise is evident from the fact that the foreign universities can just come and set up their shops in India. Why the domestic varsities should not be also given a regulatory freedom at par with their foreign counterparts, asked the Economic Times in its lead editorial, arguing that creating two classes of institutions will be self-defeating. Indeed, India is aiming to double the gross enrollment ratio in the higher education from the current 27% to 50% by 2030, but there cannot be a shortcut. The Delhi rightly lamented that a third of the colleges in the country are concentrated in just 6% of the districts. Quantitative and qualitative turnaround in the higher education demands democratizations of the higher education infrastructure, possibly even four contiguous districts and their industrial linkages. That was all that we had in today's analysis of the editorials carried in English, India's staff English newspapers. Do share your feedback and also share the link of the channel with your friends and relatives and do encourage them to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.